In this short video, we're going to show you how you can create text in a box. So in your design tab under create vectors, you can access the text tool from this icon here. And when you click on that, that will open up the create text tool. Now we're going to use this option here to create text in a box. So the text in a box option is perfect for if you're wanting to constrain your text to a given shape that you may have. So first off, you need to select the vector you want to constrain your text to. For example, we can take this shape here and you can see we've got this blue dashed box here and that's indicating the bounds of the area in which we're going to be creating text inside of. And then in order to create your text, simply come over to your text entry field where you can then start typing in your text. And here you'll see that as I'm typing the text, that the text is actually shrinking down to fit within the bounds of the box that we've had selected. And so it's created this text that we can see here based on the font that we've got selected. We've not selected it bold or italic. The text alignment is from the center. And obviously you can change that to the left, to the right if you wanted to. Then we've got the bounding box dimensions. So it's giving us a width and height of our bounding box, which is taken from the vector that we've got selected so that we know the exact dimensions that we're working with here. And we can also alter the bounding box dimensions by changing the fields for the width and the height if you wanted to. So for example, if you wanted to alter the height here, we could say 4.4 and you'll see that that has respected that here in our 2D view. The bounds of our box uh, have now gone up to 4.4. Okay, so I'm just going to put that back to 2.5 here so it's respecting the bounds of the uh, shape that we wanted our text to fit within. So then we've got the options to adjust the margin size and we can switch between each one just to see the effect of them. So let's just set that to none. Okay, so what this does, it scales the text to fit uh, the rectangle width or height, and we can see that it's respecting the width there. And so it's going right up from one end to the other. Then we have normal. So this scales the text uh, to fit, leaving a nice gap. And then we've got wide, which gives us a wider gap around the outside as well. So we're going to put that back to normal. And then finally, at the bottom, we've got the options to adjust the vertical stretch or the horizontal stretch. So for the vertical stretch, so when the text fits uh, the width of the box and the space above and below it, the text can be made to fill that vertical space using one of the options. So let's take a look at those options. So we've got space lines to fit. So you see how it's doing that. It's just spacing those out uh, within that space. And then we've got stretch characters, which stretches the characters to fill that space. And then we could put that back to none if you wanted to. And so horizontal is quite the opposite. So when the text fits the height of the box and the space at the sides, we can actually fill that space in using some of the horizontal stretch options. So to help demonstrate that, what we're going to do is we're just going to adjust the width and make that rather wide. So let's just make that 10 in this case, just so we can see we've got a lot of space uh, to the left and to the right of our text. And then here, what we could do is we could look at stretch kerning. So you can see it's just filling that space out. We've also got stretch characters in there. And so you can see it's actually stretching the characters horizontally there. We do have another option here, stretch spaces, which you can see it's not really doing too much here. And that's because we don't have enough spaces within our part. And ultimately what that would do is it would just stretch the spaces between uh, the words. Right then, so we're just going to put that back to none and then we're actually going to change the width of our bounding box back to 4.4 like so. And so once you're happy with everything, you could go ahead and press close and then your text has been created to the settings that we used for the bounds of the box that we had selected. And so at this stage, you can then take your text, you can move it around if you wanted to. And it's worth noting that the text actually has no relation to your vector. So for example, if I delete those, but then I wanted to make further edits to my text, when I come back over in here, it still respects the bounds of the box that this was originally created in. And so if I wanted to add more text, I could do so 
whereby it will still just retain the box boundaries that we've got here, like so. It will just fit that accordingly. So that's pretty much how you use the create text in a box tool, which is perfect if you're creating signs or badges. Thank you for watching.